Hi there, my name's Ed, and today I'm actually going to put myself to the test when it comes to tasting. Um, I've actually got quite strong feelings about um, Coke, Pepsi and Diet Coke and all of these things, these sort of caramel um, carbonated drinks. Um, and I've always been interested in finding out whether I actually do like Coke the best or um, whether I actually really dislike Diet Coke and what's going on there. Um, and people have got very sort of strong feelings about what they like and what they don't like, you know, when it comes to brand loyalty, um, when it comes to, you know, buying something, you know, that's branded in a certain way or is in a certain bottle or is supposedly made in a certain way. Um, and I think our tastes are really charged with these, these kind of images and these kind of preconceptions. Um, so with the use of a blindfold, I'm going to sort of strip that back and see if I can get the differences, or well, firstly get the differences between um, these five drinks, these pretty iconic um, drinks, very widely um, consumed, and see if um, my preferences hold up um, without any knowledge of what I'm drinking. Um, and I've always been a Coke drinker for since I was a young kid. I've been drinking Coke as, as good or, or as bad as that may be. Um, and I've always, yeah, I've always liked Coke the best. Pepsi is probably, it's, it's kind of all right, you know, it's, uh, it's up there, but it's not Coke. Um, and then the rest are kind of just, uh, you know, they're the, the sugar-free, the, the, the low-calorie sort of stuff, which really I feel like compromises on um, the kind of the flavour, the impact. Um, I've really always, for some reason, had a bit of a dislike for Diet Coke. And I've, for some reason, I've always found as well that um, drinks with sweetener make me feel a bit weird. Like slightly nauseous in a way. Um, I'm not sure if other people have that sort of feeling as well, but um, I definitely feel like when I drink a lot of Pepsi Max or, or Coke Zero, it doesn't make me feel very good. Um, Coke on the other hand makes me feel pretty pretty nice. Um, so yeah, addressing the kind of questions of how accurately can I taste um, these things, and uh, yeah, how much of it is charged by my uh, my preconception. So. What we're going to do is we're going to swap these around. Um, I'm going to put a blindfold on, and I'm going to either prove my um, my hypothesis. I mean, what is my hypothesis? I suppose I'm pretty confident. I think I can get all of these right. I think I'm, I'm actually going to know um, which which ones which um, pretty easily. I feel like they're quite different, um, even though I haven't. I've, I've only occasionally sort of drunk the last four um, so but I think they're pretty different I think they're pretty kind of individual so I think I should be able to guess which one's which and therefore I think I should be able to uh, know um, yeah which one's my favourite so we're just doing a bit of uh, swapsies a blind tasting yeah that's uh, it's interesting in um, in these industries such as um, I come from the sort of wine industry in a sense. I've been a sommelier at a, at a hotel. Um, and tasting is very, very important to the industry. In incredibly important. And people put so much emphasis and weight on, on wine tasting. And people really think, you know, they really trust in, um, you know, a skilled taster's ability. Um, but then people have done blind trials where, you know, they get it wrong. Um, in fact, I've, I've even seen some of my colleagues, you know, will, will try and blind taste something. And guess what it is? Wine, it's particularly difficult, you know, because there's, there's so much variety, you know, so out of 100 bottles, we might try and guess, um, guess what the wine is. Um, and we haven't always been successful. So uh, there has actually been a time where I guessed the exact bottle of um, something I was drinking blind. So, oh, where have they gone? Oh my God, they're so far away. Okay, so that's number one. Okay. Can I even do anything blindfolded? That, that's another question. Okay. This is definitely the first one. Okay, so. Initially tasted like Coke, but then has this, it's a funny, it's, it's almost not a taste, it's almost like an absence of taste. It's like a different sweetness um, to normal Coke. So it's definitely not normal Coke. I don't think it's Pepsi. Um, initial thoughts is that I don't really like it. It is actually making me feel a little bit funny in my stomach, a little bit nauseous. I would initially guess it's dark Coke. Um, might as well go for another.
Yeah. I mean, if it is dark cake, which I think it is, dark cake's always had this this bizarre taste to me. It doesn't taste like Coke. Um, it's sweet, it's a bit caramelly, but it's really lacking in, yeah, that kind of the crispness and the sweetness. Um, God, I think one difficult thing is going to be sort of lining these back up again. Okay. Right. So first guess on that one was Diet Coke. Could it be Coke Zero? Possibly. Oh, this one's got a bit of a different, um, actually I might give it away. Pepsi Max or Pepsi? I think it's a pe uh, one of the Pepsi varieties. Um, or is it? Maybe I'm being way too bold. It is very. It is similar, similar to Coke. I will. I will say. Um, but again, something on the aftertaste actually with Pepsi. Um, I would generally drink Pepsi in like cinemas because for some reason they don't have Coke in certain, in certain cinemas. So um, for some reason this this is reminding me of like cinema Coke, like draft Coke. Um, yeah, instant reaction was Pepsi, but then after sort of thinking about it. Not so sure. Not so sure. Right. Jesus. Noisy, noisy little one. Okay. Um, I sort of initially thought, oh, this might be Coke. And then... Now I started questioning it. Flipping out. Is this? Oh, this one's weird. I think this could be one of the Maxes. I think Pepsi Max or Coke, uh, Coke Zero, or whatever we've got. One of the. Ooh, this is slightly stumped me. What do you want now? Number three. Mhm. Mm Damn. Okay. Drinking Coke back to back is like, or drinking different types of Coke back to back is a bit of a. In my part. This one's a bit fizzier. I still don't think we've got to Coke. I feel like my reference point is going to be original Coke. And once I taste that, then I can kind of like reorder, reorder my thoughts. But so far, I kind of feel like I've been generally um, pretty confident in what I'm tasting. Like what I'm tasting is kind of what I expect to taste in a way. Um, damn, it gets harder. I might need like a palate cleanse or something. There's water. Yeah, oh wow, I've got it straight away, that echo location. Um, I will say one thing that is um, impacting my thoughts is that the, the opening them, some of them are smaller. So I will say that that has impacted me probably like unconsciously, even if I try to ignore the fact that the opening was different. Mm. It's weird, it takes the enjoyment out of it, definitely. Like, I kind of think, think that might be the original. But, I'm really not sure, and it's like, it's not almost enjoyable anymore, that I'm like, having to try and guess what it is. Yeah, I think this pack is going to be like, totally essential. It's kind of like a, um, a sensory, um, I don't know what you call it, almost like sensory overload, like when you kind of, you know, you slowly get less attuned uh, as you go on. Instant reaction was that, that's Coke. Hmm. 
damn, it gets really hard. <laughs> like, just the vast amount of sugar. I mean, I haven't, you know, I haven't even drink, drunk it, you know, a can's worth, but, you know, drinking it like back to back, drinking it back to back like this is a bit difficult. The carbonation, the fizziness as well can inhibit, you know, the ability to taste. So, damn. So, the first one I thought was Pepsi or Diet Coke. Diet Coke, okay, yeah. This one I think is obvious. Yeah, my ability to taste that is way worse now that I've gone through the ranks. Bizarrely. Woo! I'm absolutely full of coke. I'm, I'm carbonated, I'm caffeinated, I'm sugared up. But I think I'm going to trust my instincts on um, on that. I've got to make a decision on the other ones. So, just are we? Okay. So this I thought was coke. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go with, go with Coke on that one. So it's kind of interesting, like, I mean, this is kind of almost like another, like, slightly weird question, but, you know, if you had, like, you know, if you open a, a, a can of something, the, the first three sips are original Coke, and then the rest of the sips are, like, Coke Zero, like, would you even notice, like, your ability to taste is kind of limited. Um, so, you know, would you even notice? So I've got two Pepsis. I think that's a Pepsi. Oh, damn, I'm going to be so mad if I get this all wrong. My ability to taste has just absolutely gone out the window. I literally can't. <sighs> Putting these side by side. Damn, they're, they're caramelly, sugary, and fizzy. Wow, this is really tough. <laughs> Almost like I'm gonna have to go with that. I think I'm gonna have to go with my gut, you know, my gut instincts originally. So if that if number two is Pepsi, I think this is probably Pepsi Max and that's Coke Zero, but yeah, that one's particularly I find that one's particularly gross and I find um yeah the sugar the yeah, artificial sugar, particularly bad. So I'm pretty sure I've had Diet Coke. And I should be sure on Coke. So I'm gonna go back to Coke, or what I think is Coke. <sighs> Pressure's on now, I can feel it. This is, you know, this is 15 years of, of drinking Coke is, is being put to the test. Yeah, okay, I've, I think I've had three goes of Coke, and I think it's passed the test. It's not streets ahead of the other ones. As I say, like, they are actually surprisingly similar after you've had, like, four or five sips. I don't know if it's the fact that it's coating your mouth. I think the sugar can probably hang in your mouth a little bit. The acidity can hang in your mouth. Um, so there's definitely that. So these middle three... I mean, the middle three, I guess, technically should be more, the most difficult... Well, the Pepsi should be easy, right? Okay, let's go back to what I think is Pepsi. Flipping out. I don't want to drag this out too much. Okay, yeah. Did I originally think that was Pepsi? Yeah. You need to stop with Pepsi for that one the whole time. Imagine if that's Coke. Yeah, Pepsi Max, I think. Yeah. 
aftertaste. Aftertaste is what, what I think what, what will save me here. Because initial taste, you like your palate is, is you know your palate's fizzing. It's got sugar. It's got citric acid. It's got e numbers. You know, it's got sometimes sweetness. Like palate doesn't know what to do. Very little, obviously, in terms of if we, if this was wine, you know, you'd be smelling it. I mean, smell in wine is is what it'll tell you. You know, bags about what it actually is. Tasting will tell you acidity, uh, sweetness, uh, minerality sometimes. Um, Etc. So difficult in a can because you can't smell it, but I mean, I don't think it's cake that aromatic, not particularly. Okay, I don't want to beat, it. beat a, uh, a live horse, a dead horse. Can I get any, any more certain? I thought this, I've been certain on Pepsi, but I just want to, I want to let it warm up in my mouth, maybe. Temperature's a big thing. If it's cold, it's harder to taste. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Am I am I satisfied? Yeah, so I think what I'm going for is Dark Coke, Pepsi, Pepsi Max, Coke Zero, Coke. Um I will say there are they are less different to, to what I thought they were. Um so my absolute um sort of uh stubbornness that they're very different um, isn't necessarily true um, but I will say that Diet Coke did make me feel a bit nauseous um, so I think well what I think is Diet Coke so I think my this kind of psychosomatic thing about sweetener uh, might actually be true and what we're going to do afterwards as well is look at um, the ingredients but am I am I ready to take the blindfold I think I am Ooh. oh Ooh. Pretty good, but disappointed about Coke and Coke Zero. Um, damn. So Diet Coke was correct, Pepsi was correct, Pepsi Max was correct. I didn't get Coke right. <laughs> what the hell? That's why I should have got right. In theory. Um... Call it gross. <laughs> you called it gross. I made that note. I called Coke gross. <laughs> How weird is that? Oh man, I'm I'm slightly confused. I will say, I think if I did it in the opposite order, like if I to if I tasted Coke Zero and then Coke, I probably would have guessed it more easily. Um, holy moly. How did I not get that right? Like, I'm very, I mean, I mean, here's the thing, maybe. Coke, I think Coke Zero makes me feel a bit sick, right? So if it makes me feel sick, even if it tastes good, I'm not going to enjoy it. Um, and I don't enjoy it, I would say. But in that case, I thought it was Coke. Okay. Without a blindfold. Mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. with the blindfold off, like, it kind of... They are very, very similar, I'd say. Um, Coke, yeah, has that kind of... That real sh sweetness. Um, can I justify it any other way? Maybe, you know, off the back of having Dark Coke and Pepsi Max, like, having the sugar... Maybe kind of, I don't know, it was a bit of a shock to the palate. I'm not sure. Um, definitely was difficult to taste. I could have had some bread, actually. Bread's quite a good palate cleanser. Um, that, anything else in these notes that... So I pretty much got, so I got Dark Coke right straight away. I got Pepsi right straight away. And this, I kind of knew. Guys, isn't that so flipping weird? I'm also interested in the ingredients, so... Yeah, so Diet Coke has aspartame, which I think is pretty bad for you. Um, and I think that makes me feel, that makes me feel sick. Um, Coke Zero has aspartame, 
which also makes me feel sick. Right, so that makes sense. Pepsi Max isn't as bad. Um, also contains aspartame. And or they will both also contain a sol a sulfame K. Anyone? A sulfame K? Interesting, interesting. Coke obviously and Pepsi don't contain anything of that nature, just caramel colouring. Phosphoric acid, not citric acid. But yeah, so aspartame. Aspartame makes me feel sick. I think I can confirm that from the blind tasting. Um, damn, I might have to try and try Coke Zero again. I mean, another point of contention is that Coke Zero is cheaper. No sugar tax in the UK on Coke Zero as opposed to Coke. So technically it's a little bit cheaper. I think I'll kind of let myself off a little bit. I mean, I was very confident. I, I did, I did pretty well. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't. My palate was kind of shot a little bit. So yeah, do I have anything else I want to say on this? I'm slightly sad. I don't know why. <laughs> I was so close to getting it all right. I was so close to just getting it all right. Just being done with it, just being like, yep, yeah, I know what I know, I know what I like, I can just get on with my life. So, <sighs> I mean, in terms of my experience, if something makes you feel sick, you're not going to like it regardless, right? So like, even if it does taste better, your body's just going to tell you you don't like it. It's a bit like when you get too drunk and you're, you're sick and then you go back to alcohol and you're like, oh my God, you know, it's kind of almost like that. It's like a visceral thing that your body does. So. Is it that different? No. Aftertaste is a little bit different, but actually on the palate, like the primary flavour is pretty similar. Just the actual tame. Oh, it doesn't agree with me. I sound like I sound like I've got the gluten intolerance or something. Like, like it doesn't really agree with me. Uh, anyway, I think that will conclude this video. Um, can I taste? Yes. That's it. I can I can taste, but I wasn't as as good as I as I, as I thought it could have been. Um, I think I'll hope to do something similar in the future with this. Um, I think this will be easier than anything to do with wine, tea, anything like that. That is far more difficult. These are five known brands that are perfectly created and perfectly the same every single time. Um, so I know what they, they're kind of known quantities. Everything else is kind of a bit of like a, yeah. So that's it. I'll, I'll finish this video here um, and I'll grab my Coke. <laughs> so cheers. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Ha, ha, ha.